YouTube Nation, top of the top. My people from all over, welcome back to the channel. For everybody who's first time tuning in, please like, share, subscribe. What it do, y'all? I'm back at y'all on a Friday morning. I got a little something I want to share with y'all, so let's get right into it. So I'm just sitting there thinking about something, man. I'm just like tripping, like, you know, gang bangers. We out here warring, like this shit is supposed to last forever. Look, man, gang banging, Crips and Bloods, we gonna be around like Kobe. This is forever. GDs, Vice Lords, Southsiders, North Daniels, all of that. Gangs are going to be around forever, just like Kobe, right? So we got to learn to live with Kobe. I mean, we got to learn to live with each other. We got to understand, we ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean, that hood ain't going nowhere. You might not be on that street, but that hood is still around. You know what I mean? So we got to understand, man, we got to learn how to coexist, bro. That's the word of the day, coexist, man. We live together in prison. We walk prison yards together. We learn how to be respectful in prison. And on these streets, we act like we can't be respectful. That's that's the dumbest shit ever, bro. We got, come on. Everybody done done time now. You know what I mean? It ain't like back when they had so many people doing time. Everybody hood, they got people that walk these prison yards with each other. We didn't coexist it. We understand, man, wars are not supposed to last forever, bro. I understand certain hoods is at war right now. It's heated. I ain't touching that. You know what I mean? I understand. I know how it go. Some things you got to just bag up off of, let it be what it is. But at the same time, man, wars are not supposed to last forever. If we didn't war this on site all the time, like, you know, like there's no tomorrow. If we didn't do that, our communities would be better. Because we'd be able to do much more in our communities without always the fear of these cats you warn with coming through, gunning shit down. You know what I mean? So we don't think like that. Some of us do, but the ones that do don't do nothing with those thoughts. Y'all catch that? Don't do nothing with those thoughts. There's no actions behind that. Everybody know it. You, bro, you, you, you done been sellies with Crips. Bro, you done been sellies with Bloods. We all done done that. So to be on these streets acting like it's on site, cripping blood, bro, come on. That shit is outdated, man. Who says this shit's supposed to be like that? Ain't nobody wrote no motherfucking manual saying that we got to be at war with each other forever. We got to understand that them niggas ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. We got to accept that, man. That's where coexistence comes from, man. That's where it comes from being able to accept the fact that, bro, why we got to be at war all the time? We ain't got to kick it. We ain't got to be uh, kumbaya and shit like that. But we ain't got to be at war, man. You know what I mean? We ain't got to always go through each other hood and diss just because we're in these dudes hood. We ain't always got to jump on YouTube and diss just because what happened in the past just because you don't like these dudes. We ain't always got to do that, bro. Why do people feel like we always got to do that? Why do we feel we got to continue that? That's a generational curse that's amongst our communities. Accept that fact. That's a generational curse that we need to break. Generational curse to the point that too many of us is dying left and right. It don't, it, don't, it don't get no better. Nobody's winning. All our mamas is getting hurt. All our families are getting hurt because our lifestyles, which is real selfish of us, thinking like we got to keep this going. We got to be at war forever just because he a blood. Just because he a crip. No, nah, man. That's the generational curse that we got to break as a people. We got to step to get our games up and change that narrative. That's what we got to do. We got to change that narrative. We can't, especially black folks, we can't worry about what other people is doing. We got to change that narrative. Stop feeling like we got to be at war with each other just because he from the other side of the fence. Except the fact, bro, we're going to be here, man. Niggas is here like COVID. Crips and Bloods. Niggas is here like COVID. We ain't going nowhere. So you got to learn to live with COVID. Got to learn to live with each other. Have a blessed day.